Hello, it's Gorema here again and I'm bringing you the topic for this week which is how do you use, how does uh, work food and your lifestyle about food and drinks in uh, your life. I can't remember the question properly this time, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's about magical use of food. Well, uh, for my rituals I usually use only water uh, and uh, sometimes I use also meat and sometimes, but not really often, uh, more when I'm with uh, some other group uh, I drink wine and uh, eat some food with them. Anyway, uh, food as a magical property or as something which has uh, its own magical essence can be used in many different charms and spells and uh, can be used for attracting quite loads of uh, things but I don't use uh, food to put a spell on somebody let's say or put a spell on myself but I still am quite thankful to gods and to the earth that uh, we have something to eat and we have fresh water to drink and uh, I think that it's really really important part of magical using of food uh, because basically when we are eating or drinking uh, we are taking the essence of uh, that drink and the food into ourselves and uh, times when I'm really using these different essences is or are in the moment when I feel weak, sick or tired, stressed and uh, in that very moment I'm really trying to concentrate on uh, what do I wish to eat, what do I have taste for and uh, in the moment when I find out what I actually want, I use it as a remedy or as a refreshment uh, in the moment when I don't feel good and I need to get some energy. I really try to concentrate on which kind of energy I'm searching for and eat it or drink it. And I think that that's uh, the most common use usage of uh, food that I'm doing and that I'm also connecting with magic. I read some time ago that uh, which should drink loads and loads of uh, clean water, still clean water, and maybe sometimes also green tea if you are annoyed by water and uh, I started to do so I brought it into my practice and uh, as I'm really strongly connected to the water element it brought me very very good feeling and I can recommend it to everybody to just follow the drinking practice follow the time when you are drinking water to go for it to really drink enough to drink a lot to drink how much as much as you need uh, also obviously with the respect to the water to drink it rather than to drink half of the bottle and then spill it um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, eating meat and I think that uh, it will be really a huge topic for this week who's actually who's actually vegan or vegetarian or uh, other type of let's say diet without meat and who's not well I'm not I eat meat 
and I'm aware of uh, all the cruelty behind it. Uh, but still, I feel as a human uh, who was created after so many, 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 many generations who ate meat, uh, I feel that it's okay and correct to eat meat. And I also am aware of symbolism of different kinds of animals and fish and birds. And uh, I know in the moment when I'm eating this kind of uh, meat or also when I'm eating vegetables and other things, I'm aware of the symbolism. I'm again aware of what kind of energy I'm taking what kind of energy is entering my body. Of course, uh, I'm not absolute fan of, uh, of eating meat on daily basis, but I still have it in, uh, in, my, in my menu, in my weekly menu, uh, because I think that even these energies, energies also of milk, eggs and honey uh, are really important for us. These energies are here and in the moment we need them, in the moment uh, when we feel the taste for them, of course it's uh, it's about uh, to really understand your taste and what is uh, making you feel better, not to be totally uh, connected with some kind of sweets and go for sweets all the time, all the time, all the time. Uh, no, I don't mean this kind of uh, feeling and taste for something. I really mean that in the moment when your, uh, when your food varies, when your food is uh, different and changing, in that moment you can take that proper energy for yourself and for your day, for your energy, for th that what will create your energy for the day and for the time after the food and you, you should be basically aware of what are you eating and how does it affect you. And that's uh, the main thing in magical use of uh, food and I'd say that uh, every time when I'm eating and drinking I feel that connection with earth and with that energy. So yes, I'd say that I use food magically but without spells and rituals. That's it from my side for today. See you soon.